Hello boys and welcome back to another video. So I've been starting doing this kind of series I guess where you guys ask me questions and I will do my best to answer them as good as I can. So the first one is going to be uh, this one from Jorik. He asked some questions about battle pets like basically which ones he will I prefer to farm like which ones do I start with which ones are easy to obtain which ones are hard to obtain and expensive because they're hard to acquire now I'm gonna tell you guys how I farm the battle pets and which ones I farm there's so many battle pets I don't really farm them all but I'm gonna tell you guys like which ones I start out with and which ones I end at and uh, that is basically it so I'm not saying this is the best way to farm battle pets this is just how I do it and I do follow a specific route like let's say I was starting out in a new realm and I wanted to farm battle pets there's a specific type of battle pets that I will go for before any other battle pets so we're gonna start it off so the first battle pet that you want to farm this is really important to understand like you want to farm the EC to obtain battle pets first for the same reason as when you go out and farm transmog you should go for the transmog that is easy to obtain, like for a start, right? You don't simply go out and farm for Glorious Legs or a Propel Fest from Ultiman if you're starting out and you have no transmog on the auction house. You always want to go for the easy to obtain to start filling up your auction house to have a chance for uh, sales, right? Because the hard part is not farming the items, the hard part is selling the items because you're going to have a lot of competition. So the battle pets that I start out with is Dark Whelpling. Dark Whelpling is super easy to obtain. It's it's insane. Uh, when I did it last time, I got six Dark Whelplings in one hour, and they sell for like 5k, 6k a pop on my realm, which is not bad. Even if you sell them for like 3,000 gold each, it's going to be like, how much, like 18,000 gold an hour, which is not bad when you consider the fact that they also drop transmog items, such as the Robe of Insight, that tends to sell for like 20k each. So once you farm the Dark Whelpling, you can easily farm it on your own, but it's better in a group. And if you guys have any questions of how to farm the battle pets that I mentioned in this video, I have this YouTube playlist that you guys can go to, which is called uh, Battle Pet Farming. So I have basically all the guides on how to farm these battle pets in that playlist. So after farming the Dark Whelpling, you're going to move your ass over to Bronze Whelplings. The Bronze Whelpling is kind of similar to the Dark Whelplings. The only uh, exception is that the mobs that drops the Bronze Whelpling, they don't drop any transmog items. They can only drop you raw gold, these trash items that you can only vendor, and then the Battle Pet, right? But the cool thing about it is you can get a ton of them, like each, per hour. I got five last time I did it. And they sell for more than the Dark Whelpling usually. And the cool thing, uh, trick about Bronze Whelplings, when the drop happens, you receive it in a box, right? It's It drops in a, like this time-locked box, and then you need to learn it and cage it to get the Bronze Whelpling. But you can sell the box. I can't even tell you guys how many times I've sold the box over the Whelpling for more gold. Last time it happened, I had a Bronze Whelpling on the auction house for 8,000 gold, a box for 20,000 gold. And someone bought the box instead of buying the Whelpling, which is... You might ask yourself, why the fuck would anyone do that, right? But people do it. So it, it just increases a small increase on getting a sale by selling him as a, a caged version and a non-caged version. So do that regardless of what battle pet it is. Even Dark Whelplings, if you farm and you get multiple of them, sell one caged and uh, one uh, that is dropped, right? Always do that. So after farming Dark Whelpling and Bronze Whelpling, I tend to move over to Black Tabicat. The reason why I farm Black Tabicat is all the battle pets that I'm going to mention from now on, besides a couple, is going to be 1 in a 10,000 drop chance. So you would think that they have the same uh, like ability of dropping, right? But the clue about Black Tabicat is the mobs killed per hour. You kill like 3,000, 4,000 mobs an hour when you farm Black Tabicat, and they also drop transmog items. The Black Tabicat used... It usually sells for like 30 to 50,000 gold, really, really good. So Dark Whelpling, Bronze Whelpling, Black Tabicat. And then after doing those, you should do the Emerald Whelpling. Emerald Whelpling also drops transmog items, but the Emerald Whelpling is uh, 1 in a 5,000 or 1 in a 1,000. I don't recall, but it's not that hard to get. And it tends to sell for uh, a decent amount of gold. So we're sitting at Dark Whelpling, Bronze Whelpling, Black Tabby, and then Emerald Whelpling. Now there's not that many more battle pets that I actually farm. It's the Crimson Whelpling and the Parrot in STB. They both sell for a decent amount of gold. They're both slightly harder to obtain, but they both drop transmog items. Like while farming in, you're going to get transmog items. So do those, doesn't matter which one you do in what order, but you should farm both of them. 
After doing those, I tend to farm the Filfling Battle Pet and also the Disgusting Oosling, just because I like the uh, the sell rate on those Battle Pets. They, the price on those Battle Pets varies a shit ton from realm to realm, so be, be aware, guys. Go in the auction house and search up the prices before you go out and farm them. And after farming those, I don't really farm any more Battle Pets. That's the honest truth. Like, I uh, have a playlist with basically all the farmable battle pets but i don't keep them on the auction house at all times like sometimes when i'm bored and i want to do something new i might have over to like the timeless island and farm some battle pets to sell for like 30 40k but i don't do it on a frequent basis i keep the battle pets that i mentioned on the auction house at all times and i tend to sell uh, at least one of them frequently so that's Basically, the way that I farm battle pets. Uh, hopefully, that answers some questions, especially the question from uh, you, Yorick. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section, and I will pick out the ones that I find the most interesting or the ones that you guys would like me to answer. Like, just upvote a question if you see a question that you would like me to answer as well. And that's it. So, if you guys haven't already, make sure to sub to the channel, and you can always press the like button if you uh, like the video. And I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Until then, bye bye.